right guys so quick little update again um it's been a minute so i thought i'd give you guys an update about a 5,000 ish mile review on the jb4 it is still doing amazing um the thing is an absolute ripper with that piggyback on it um my sorry if my voice kind of cuts in and out i'm, I'm kind of getting over the flu i think um but anyway got the new company wrap on the vehicle um I know you guys saw that I already had the wheels and tires and everything. So what I was going to go over was um, I got the exhaust done on the truck. What I did was I was going to just do a resonator delete. And then I realized how small the resonator is. So if you look under here, there's your resonator. It's like tiny. So I ended up leaving that and deleting the muffler. And then came over the top right there. You can kind of see it there came over the top and then I actually just had them cut it off right there right behind that clip basically as close as they could on that clip just so the fact that you don't see the tip on the truck here um I think it looks a little bit cleaner I do like the dual tips like the Raptor has but I would have to get a full system for that and I don't really care um just to have the looks to spend that much more money and honestly I think it sounds pretty cool uh y'all hear here in a second um i took all the badging off the side and stuff so it looks nice and clean um so yeah like even like from way back here i mean it looks good you can't see the pipe that's what i wanted um wrap looking killer so i'm gonna go ahead and start it up here my truck's an absolute wreck so already you can kind of hear that it's a way deeper pitch. I don't know if that's even going to do it justice. But, and it sounds good. I mean, honestly, I'm way more impressed with the sound than what I thought it was going to be. This thing is ridiculous, making me shut this door. I roll down the windows here. You can kind of hear it a little bit better. Honestly, like I think it sounds pretty good. It's nice and throaty on the startup. I can't do a cold start for you guys. I'll try to do a short of it tomorrow. Uh, I just got the exhaust done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I don't really have anything with me, any camera equipment or anything to hold my phone. So I'm just gonna lay the phone down right there uh, and let it just record up so you guys can kind of hear the exhaust clip on a, a warm start. And then I'll do some revs and stuff. There you go, a little bit better camera view. Um, what I was saying was it can't, it has to help somewhat in performance freeing that up because it was, I mean, it was a pretty big muffler that I took off right there. Um, now, obviously it's not gonna make a big difference, but with this thing being um, uh, tuned, piggybacked by JB4, it's running a lot higher boost than the stock truck would. I think it's like four or five pounds more. So on the, uh, which is the map that I have it on now, which is the E30 um, map. It uh, it runs quite a bit more boost. So I think, you know, it definitely has to help a little bit. Now, obviously, like, high-flow cat pipes and stuff would be the most ideal situation. 
Um, I don't want to go that route because once you go that route, then you have to go custom tuning. And I just don't think I'm, I'm going to do that with this truck right now with how well it's running. Um, I don't, I don't feel the need to make it really any faster, <coughs> but it's awesome. I'm enjoying it. The JB4, I still, I can't say enough about this. I don't know how long, how many miles it was. I guess you guys can probably go back and see, but I'm at 31,000 miles now. And the, there's a little uh, acceleration exhaust clip. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Like, and on the kick down, it screams pretty good. Like it's pretty loud. Third gear in this truck is so cool. I, I think JB4 has a little bit more of like a boost by gear setup too. So they, and I want to say they do that to like kind of prevent uh, wear and tear on the transmission and stuff. Just because like you can tell a considerable difference, like the, the shift from second to third and you can even watch right here, You, I think it's like two more pounds of boost in that gear, so you actually feel it, which is nice because third gear is like the primary gear. Like if you're, you know, if you're going 50 miles an hour and you punch it, that's a third gear, it's gonna pull the third gear. And like, see how second gear got all the way to about 50, 55 um, before it was about to shift. So third gear being the highest boost gear is, is an awesome. And it's honestly like this thing has so much power that it's, it's right at the perfect amount. Um, like if you're going to roll onto it full throttle going like 15, 20 miles an hour, it spins a little bit in second gear. And then the rest of second gear and third gear, it chirps the tires. And then it, I mean, it just hooks and it, it's, it's just enough power to where I think, to be honest, if, if there's another 50 horse, a hundred horse, I think that it would spin a little bit too much, especially for like off-road tires that I have, um, to where I don't even know if it'd be really any faster. So it's an awesome setup. JB4 knocked it out of the park on this deal. Uh, Burger Tuning actually, I think is who I bought it through, supplied through. Um, but it's been phenomenal. Zero check engine lights. I beat this truck every day. I mean, I, I literally beat the hell out of this truck. Um, it is actually due for a oil change. And I mean, zero issues. The truck has been phenomenal. We've taken it on countless road trips. We actually went from, well, I can't really say that exactly, but we averaged a very nice speed from here to New Mexico uh, on a vacation trip and it was awesome. I still got like 18 miles a gallon and I was hauling ass the whole time. Um, and shout out the ST. Um, and the, uh, the truck was just awesome. Never overheated, uh, never did any weird transmission things. Um, several passes to where we were going, you know, this is in uh, Mexico, right? Um, several passes to where I'd be passing a train of cars. I'd be, you know, doing 105. Um, and then I, I actually have the radar that tells me the GPS right here. So I found out that if I'm going 105, I think it's 106 that this thing tops out at, like the govern. At 106 on this, I'm going like 112. So from 106 to 112, which these is a, you know, factory tires up to the um, they're 34.6s. So it's a pretty big jump. It was like a two or I want to say the factories were 31s or something. So it was like three inch in diameter jump all the way around. So I guess that makes sense. I didn't realize it'd be that far off, but like at 82 miles an hour, I'm really going like 85 or 86. So obviously the faster you go, that gap widens. Um, so yeah, I mean, truck ran amazing. Um, it has plenty of power to where even at those speeds, like if I'm, if I have my crew set at 90 miles an hour, on a leveled truck on oversized tires, basically 35 inch tires, um, just with a JB4. I actually had it on the 91 tune because of the available gas I have. So I actually had to detune it right all the way back down to 91 tune and it was still phenomenal. So it would have been even better if I could have had the E30 tune on on a road trip. Obviously that's not very feasible with finding E85, but the 91 tune was still flawless i mean it was awesome like the fact that you can be cruising at 90 miles an hour in a 10 speed transmission it'd be at 10 you know you're in 10th gear and you're doing like 1.7 um to 
thousand rpm doing 90 miles an hour is insane to me like that's why that's another reason why the gas mileage is so good obviously right but this truck is just man it, it's awesome and then i had a raptor before this right and it the raptor blew me away with the suspension and that's about it everything else is pretty basic about the truck this truck is the complete opposite everything else about the truck was amazing besides the suspension um just because of the fact i was spoiled by the raptor i think was a big part of it but i i say fixed it i made it a lot better i lessened the gap to where whatever i got and i'll show you guys this to end the video off but whenever i got um the suspension kit put on the fox uh <clears throat> a whole coilover system that helped tremendously um made a huge difference on on performance overall especially going like i said whenever you're passing cars to a 90 or whatever and you're kind of jerking in and out of lanes um it doesn't have near as much body roll and it just overall makes the truck feel like it's way sportier sportier um there's a big divot down here at the end over here by my house to where the raptor absorbed it so nice this thing bucks you like crazy because it's lowered and then this truck was like it bounced you like it was almost too soft of the suspension to where it didn't have near the setting on it like the raptor had like the raptor was obviously softer suspension but the stock suspension on this even without the big tires it felt like it bounced like it couldn't control itself and now this thing just kind of absorbs it and takes it and then you're right back it doesn't bounce you anymore it rides phenomenal um i mean the truck looks killer in my opinion i don't i'm so glad i, I get black on every vehicle but i mean damn they look so good especially like shout out company logo on the emblem it's kind of hard to see but uh super pumped on the truck really enjoying it give you guys an update next time there is one